Hello friends, welcome. Friends, this video is going to be very, very important because in this video, I am going to talk about tariff hikes because we are experiencing tariff hike on an ongoing basis for mobile services. We saw it in year 2024. Now the industry is already giving a symptom that they will do another round of tariff hike, maybe end of this year or beginning of the next year. We are already seeing the symptom of an impending tariff hike because Jio has curtailed or removed their lower tier plans and now forcing the consumers to move to the upper tier plans. So friends, in this video, I am going to do multiple things. I am going to give you historical reason for this tariff hike. Why didn't we see tariff hike before 2024 and why we are seeing it now? And what is the main key reason for that? Why the operators did not raise tariff earlier? And all this tariff hike that the operators are undertaking, will the consumer will be able to absorb this tariff hike or not? And what is their potential of absorbing tariff hike? Will they start reducing consumption or they will continue to pay more? So you will find this video pretty interesting, friends, because this is going to be laced with a lot of data because I always do videos with data. I just don't, you know, put out my thoughts based on, uh, you know, conjecture, which uh, I find it completely useless because it makes no sense. So let's start from the very beginning. So I'm going to take you through the, uh, uh, the Excel sheet, which I have created, which gives you a very clear understanding as to what was, what was happening earlier. Right. So if you look at this, let me just remove the ribbon. Otherwise, what will happen is that I will find more space and I'll increase the size of the sheet. Now, if you look at this, this sheet, friends, you will find that this is Bharti's year wise, calendar year wise, GR, gross revenue and adjusted gross revenue and the gross revenue growth and the adjusted gross revenue growth map to the total subscriber that they have end of this calendar year and the subscriber growth. Now you will notice a very interesting trend. You will find that Bharti had been growing revenues since 2009 on a consistent basis, but it was tapering down because the, it was a base factor. So uh, till FY25, their both their uh, gross revenue growth as well as their Adjusted gross revenue growth was in a respectable 6.1 and 8.1% on a yearly basis. And their subscriber growth continued to maintain at uh, double digit and you know high single digit till 2018. And then thereafter, there was a slump and then they had a reasonable growth in subscribers. But if you look at their gross revenue growth and adjusted gross revenue growth, you will find that when Reliance Geo entered the market, at that time, their growth started tapering down and then they went negative because industry shrunk because of Reliance's promotional offer. And then from the year 2020, Bharti, um, uh, when the whole thing stabilized, then they started making more profits and more growth. You can clearly see here. And in year 2024, they are showing a, Bharti is showing a, Airtel is showing a 11% growth in GR and 15% growth in adjusted gross revenue. And this is coming from the TRI data. But their subscriber growth is shrinking, which means that they have been able to draw more value from their subscribers. And that's why they are able to grow their revenues. Now, let's talk about Reliance Geo. Reliance Geo, you all know, entered the sector in 2016. Thereafter, they actually started growing very fast because initially it was a base factor. And now their subscriber growth has tapered down to 2.4% versus Bharti's 1.3%. When still Reliance is growing at a faster rate. So if you look at, uh, you know, Bharti's subscriber growth, it is in low single digit. Reliance also in low single digit, but it grew at 8.8% .8 in year 2023 and 2.4% in 2024. Now their gross revenue growth is slightly lower than the Bharti. So Bharti has been growing at... Uh, 11, oh sorry, uh, higher than Bharti, 11%, but their AGR growth is lower than the Bharti. Bharti has been going at 15%, they have been going at 13%. Now, Vodafone idea, 
I have added Vodafone Idea, Voda and Idea's revenues together and subscriber together. If from starting from 2009, you will see that Vodafone Idea actually saw a very respectable GR and AGR growth till the time Reliance Jio entered the sector. At that point, they, their growth plummeted and then they started showing negative growth and they started losing subscriber big time. And now... In the year 2024, they lost 7% subscribers, but and their revenue growth, both AGR and GR, has been maintaining at 1%, right? So this is the background. So basically what it means, and this why, why, why did I show you this these three Excel sheets? Because these are pretty important. This is going to tell you a story. And for that, friends, I am going to take you through my website, which captures the subscriber data. Now, the subscriber data is very, very important. So what I'm going to do, I will choose a year as the reference, y-axis reference year. So as to give you a very good understanding was what was going on. You can see that, you know, largely the total subscriber base has remained constant since FI17 till FI26. You see that total subscriber is constant. Let me just zoom in a bit. Yeah. Then you can see that Reliance Geo has been growing exponentially. Bharti also has been growing their subscriber base, but now they have tapered. Vodafone Idea, after they combined, Voda and Idea, they combined, they have lost almost 50% of their subscribers. BSNL has also substantial number of subscribers. Now they are at 98 overall. Now from where these subscribers came for Reliance Geo, Bharti, right? They came from Voda Idea. After they are lose board idea lost subscribers and Aircel and then Loop Telecom, MTS, Telenor, and Videocon. Because Vodafone and Idea combined and their subscribers shot up and now they started dropping. So in net net, what I'm what I'm trying to tell you is that all this Excel sheet that I showed you here, which kind of gave you a very good understanding as to what is going on as regarding their revenue, you can see that their revenue grew. From 2020 onwards, Bharti, 2020 onwards, till 2024, after having dropped in between 2016 till 2019 because of the Reliance Geo promotional offer. Thereafter, they kept growing. But Reliance Geo revenue kept on growing at a decent rate. And then we are they are maintaining at 13%. Why did it grow? Because they actually captured all the subscribers from the operators who were getting out of the market, right? And from Voda Idea, if you look at Voda Idea, they captured the subscriber. So they were able to, both Bharti as well as Reliance Geo were able to drive their revenues because of subscriber acquisition. And this subscriber acquisition becomes a, became a very important tool for these people to grab revenue, means expand their gross revenue as well as adjusted gross revenue. Now, now let's look at the market has become very stable. So if I take a quarterly time frame and you'll see that as regards subscriber is concerned, you'll see Vodafone Idea, who are the major operator losing subscribers. Now they have started to plateau, right? You can see that their subscriber loss curve has now in, in this trajectory. So now, Bharti as well as Reliance Geo, they also have now in a subscriber acquisition, they, their subscribers were growing exponentially in the initial year. Now they have now plateauing. Now how do you, how they will like, they will grow their revenue? Because there is no other way for them, for both Bharti and Reliance Geo to take more subscribers from here onwards because Vodafone Idea has now stopped losing subscribers. BSNL is actually a flattening, you know, it's, it, if you look at BSNL's number, it is also kind of flattened out. So how they will grow their revenue? So they can only grow their revenue by doing tariff hike. There is no other way for Reliance Geo and Bharti to grow their revenue from now onwards. And that is the reason why, friends, we are now seeing this tariff hike, which, which I mentioned here in my initial opening remark of this video, right? That is the reason why we are seeing tariff hike. Otherwise, there was no need for tariff. If suppose, let's say Vodafone Idea goes out of business and all their subscribers start to move to Reliance Geo and, uh, and Bharti, 
so let me again take the uh, yearly uh, uh, you know time scale you see that these subscribers which vodafone idea has if that goes out of business or they if they go out of business and these subscribers start to move to bharti and reliance jio then what will happen then they will not they will not require to do any tariff hike because their revenue will still start growing because of what because of subscriber acquisition both reliance jio and bharti since subscriber acquisition is no longer an option for bharti and reliance jio that is why we are seeing tariff hike and also for vodafone idea tariff hike is necessary for them to remain profitable right so that is why we are seeing tariff hike now next part of my presentation is can mobile service uh, you know this tariff hike can be afforded by the average indian consumer so that is a very important point to an answer now gopal bittal in his earning call has been saying that the affluent section of indian population is getting data free right though they can afford more to pay more still they are getting the da data which is cheapest in the world so he is very very concerned that it is kind of the, you know the value users are cross subsidizing the affluent users and he wants the affluent users to pay more so that they cross subsidize the value users who do not have the paying capacity and therefore this ch charts which i am going to show you is extremely important to understand whether the value users in india have got the paying capacity and how much they have the paying capacity now this is the data that is very important for you friends because i am showing it from ministry of statistics and program implementation they do all these kind of survey the latest survey was for the year fy24 that is year the calendar year 23 and 24 now what is this all about this is the survey that they do for each and every year they have been doing this survey to calculate the cpi weights consumer price index weights because these are the item groups and if you look at the total expenditure is 100 here and what i have done i have only created a percentage you know value for these individual items so that they all add up to 100 now here you will notice and you will pause the video and you want to do a little bit of a zooming if it is possible so let me zoom this a little bit i think it is not possible anyway so you can just pause the video and see that this line item which is consumer services excluding conveyance this is 5.2% of the total expenditure household expenditure for you know for the for the uh, indian average indian consumer now this number if i go to the next slide translates to this number 216 rupees for rural and 400 rupees for urban so this includes everything buying mobile phone you know all kinds of expenditure survey my hair cut and everything so this basket is pretty small now if you do a lsa wise you know service area wise di dissection you will find that this is the total expenditure right for the last survey of mpc right right which is for year f5 uh, uh, calendar year 23 24 and this is across all the indian service areas license service areas and the pan india number is 4122 rupees income monthly expenditure and for rural area and 6996 for urban area and the proportion of you know spending for consumer services excluding conveyance is 216 rupees for rural area and 400 rupees for urban area and the bifurcation and granular and the break up for all the individual service area is right in front of your screen now if this is the situation friends can you see that what kind of tight situation that the indian consumers are because this bucket is so small and then on the right hand side of your screen what i have done is i actually have given a percentile break up right of the total um, this value of 400 and 4122 on the you know of uh, uh, this total this is an aggregated number of 4122 so i have broken broken down into different classes so 0 to 
they have pay they, their average earning is or consumption is 1677 in the rural and for 2376 for the urban and then you can see that what kind of you know ability that they have to pay for consumer services excluding conveyance so this is a very important sheet and you can see that most of the population if you go till here let's say for rural 50 to 60 percent of the population can only pay 2203 rupees per month for consumer services excluding conveyance and that is the reason why friends if you go to vodafone idea sheet and this is important to for you to see here you will find that vodafone idea uh, so here is vodafone idea and you'll see that vodafone ideas customer arpu excluding m2m is 177 and if you calculate the prepaid arpu you will find that the prepaid arpu is only 166 and the postpaid arpu is i am assuming to 377 so this is pretty low compared to the average plan that that the that vodafone idea is offering which means that the consumers are not charging their plan for the full month and that's why this arpu is low and that is a clear indication of this thing which i showed you that they don't have the paying capacity and therefore the point which i wanted to make here in this video is that though the tariff hike is necessary for the operators to grow their revenue but the indian consumers do not have the paying capacity which i am showing you in this chart you can pause the video and look at this chart and you will find that that is a big challenge for the operators to raise tariff especially in the value segment and there is a huge risk for lower not only lowering of consumption but consolidation of sims right so in net net let me summarize in this video tariff hike is necessary because the because of this chart the overall consumer numbers the mobile subscriber numbers are now constant the operators who are the market leaders they were growing because of because of customer acquisition from the market laggards and who are exiting the market and that is now slowly slowly stopping now it is going down and plateauing and that has stagnated and therefore only way for them to raise their revenues is to do tariff hike but the challenge of tariff hike is this chart whether the consumers really have the spending capacity to absorb the tariff hike and keep continuing to pay more whether that is possible or not if that is not going to be the case and then what will happen is that as soon as the mobile operators start to do tariff hike they will see drop in consumption and their revenues may start to decrease and that's a big risk so that's all friends in this video i hope that you understood this video this is so important and i'll come back with a new video next time thanks for watching till the end thank you very much friends